Welcome back. In this video, we'll be going over how to use the deck manager, the deck editor, and the design decisions behind the way they work in YGO Omega. The first part of a Yu-Gi-Oh simulator is the deck editor. In Omega, we have a deck manager before the deck editor. We've added this screen so that way players can organize their decks, filter, import, export, and search for their decks. A lot of modern game simulators like MTG Arena have features similar to this. If you only have 5 to 10 decks, then you can quickly pick your deck just like in other YGO Pro simulators. However, once you start making multiple decks over different formats, it becomes a bit more difficult to work with, a drop down menu that's not searchable. Often you'd waste time trying to find the correct version of a deck, make changes to the wrong one, and then save before realizing it. With the deck manager, we aim to reduce that possibility and frustration. More often than not, you won't be making a deck from scratch, so let's talk about a few methods of importing decks into Omega. Let's say you wanted to import a single deck from EDO Pro. Well, all you have to do is open EDO Pro, go to the deck you want to copy, press Ctrl C. This will copy the deck code into a clipboard. Then all you need to do is click import and then copy clipboard deck. It will then ask you to name the deck and it'll automatically search for that deck name so that way you can easily find it and start editing if you wish. This method utilizes the YDK E format. You can think of this as an entire deck as code rather than a file. The developer community is working to move away from transferring YDK files and utilize YDK E. This makes it easier to share decks on the web and mobile devices as we move forward. YugiOprodeck.com is also a very popular website for sharing and documenting decks for YGO Pro. This website also provides every deck in the YDK E format. You can simply search for the deck you're wanting to use click on the YDKE button, and then import it similar to how we just did. You can even share these deck codes with your friends. Just click on any of the decks, click export, and then send your friends a, a message by pasting that code in. All they need to do is copy it and then import it as we just done. If you have YGO Pro, then you most likely know that decks are stored inside the deck folder. Importing decks one by one would be a pain now, wouldn't it? The easiest way to mass import your decks is to start by navigating to that folder and copying the path for that folder. Once you've copied it, you can go ahead and click import and clipboard path. This will then import all of the decks within that path and allow you to start using them. It's as easy as that. You'll see the decks have appeared in Omega. Another way to import decks is to simply copy and paste the YDK files into the imports folder in the YGO Omega data slash files slash imports folder. Once you've done that, click import and imports folder. This will pull in any YDK files in that folder, make them ready for you to use. Browse enables you to actually use a built in file browser to point to a single YDK file you might want to import. QR code will enable a camera on the mobile version of YGO Omega and allow you to scan QR codes from either your computer or a friend's computer to import the deck into your mobile version of Omega. You can also import a deck recipe from places like TCG Player Infinite's deck reports. You can do this by downloading the text file, opening it with notepad or a text editor, selecting all of the text, I'm doing this here with Control A, and copying it with Control C. You can then go to Import Clipboard Recipe. We'll name this TCG player, and you can see it's imported the deck. To be able to export a deck, all you need to do is first click the deck, click export. You can then choose a variety of possibilities to be able to export, either as codes, YDK ID numbers, text recipes, YDK files, or mass export through the form of CSV files that are placed in the exports folder of YGO Omega. YDK files in a zip of all of those files or a QR code to be able to scan with your mobile version of Omega. A big feature of the deck manager is the ability to tag decks. There are so many different formats and we often use the name to indicate what format it's for. Not anymore. Now you can add as many tags as you want for a single deck. All you need to do is separate them with a semicolon. Remember, these are case sensitive. These tags are then searchable in the search bar in the upper right hand corner. This is handy to be able to have key cards that you play tagged in your deck or different play styles, formats, 
anything else you'd like. These are also searchable along with the file names. Another cool feature is the recipe button. Let's say I wanted to find the difference between two different deck recipes without opening the deck editor. With the recipe button, we can click, click each deck and see easily what the differences between them are. You can easily see that this build has three Pot of Extravagance, while this one has three Pot of Prosperity. Sometimes it's not easy to spot the difference when looking at the deck editor and examining cards one by one, so this makes it much easier to be able to view and compare multiple decks quickly. The last thing I want to touch on is the probability button. After you click on any deck, you can then click the probability button. This will open up the Duelist Unite website with the probability calculator. This will import the deck list and allow you to be able to set up combos to be able to check and see how often your likelihood of drawing that specific combination of hands is. This is a little bit more in depth and we'll get to this in another video. To open up the deck editor for any deck, all you need to do is click on it twice. Once we open up the deck editor, we can see all the basic functions are here. We can search both card name and card text by clicking in the field in the upper right hand corner. This is convenient because you usually are looking for more than just card names. If I type in blue eyes, I find blue eye support cards as well. For example, if I type in Gravekeeper, I also find Necro Valley as well. This is because the card text for Necro Valley has Gravekeeper in it. We did this to help you save time when searching for cards. You can add a single card from your trunk to your deck by right clicking it, or by simply dragging it with your mouse or finger if you're on mobile. You can also add a card to your side deck by holding control and then right clicking, or by pressing and holding or holding right click. To change your main deck, you can right click on a card in your deck to remove it. If you wish to add more copies, you can hold left click or press and hold on it to be able to add more. This is convenient when you just want to adjust the number of copies of a card. One of the major issues with all simulators is reading cards in the deck editor. I'll open YGO Pro to show this, but this often occurs in other sims as well. Let's take a look at a card like the Endemians, which have some of the longest text in the game. If we want to read the full card text, we need to scroll the text box down, but to scroll, we have to move the mouse over to the text area. Otherwise, the mouse wheel won't register. This is really frustrating. I can either have to focus on navigating all around the other cards to be able to get to the text field, or I'll have to rearrange my deck in order to make sure my card is accessible from the outside. This is practically impossible when the card is in the middle of your deck. This can even be a problem during a duel when you're trying to read a card effect and the display image changes while you're in the middle of reading. The reason this happens in all other sims is because of how scrolling works. Scrolling isn't global. In Omega though, we solve this issue by simply locking the focus card whenever you hold control. You can do this whenever you wish, and it'll keep the card in focus locked, so you can even use things like the text box and scroll without having to change the display pick. An alternative to this feature is the ability to zoom. This makes the card full screen and gives you full access to the card no matter what happens in the background or where your mouse is on screen. You can also read through the text freely with an enlarged version of the card. In the deck edit, you also have the ability to check the different rarities that are available and how they look on a specific card. Now let's talk about trunk design. You'll notice that the trunk has three columns as opposed to one. In other simulators, you have one column that has a thumbnail of the card pick and lists the card name next to it. We selected a three column design because of overflow. To demonstrate this, I'll search for Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning in YGO Pro. As you can see, the name does not fit and so it gets truncated. Most players associate the image of the card with the name to identify it. Therefore, we chose to prioritize the card image to be clear and crisp. The card image in Omega has the highest quality and shows the entire name, attribute, and stats written on it. Filtering is also able to be done with traditional filters. We can go ahead and search for, let's just say, we want to find all the synchros that are level 8 in the game. We can do this by going to subtype, synchro, level and rank, and then setting our search to 8. We want it to exactly be 8, not a range, so we can click the center to set it equal to. 
click apply, and now it's showing us every level 8 synchro in the game. But there's even more you can do with this as well. Let's go ahead and reset our search. We can also search for genre. So let's say we want to find every hand trap that we want. Hand traps are anything that activates in the hand and is a quick effect. And we can even search by sets. So let's search by flood or flames of destruction. This shows us the five cards that were released in the set that were hand traps or meet the criteria that we specified. You can even use wild cards to search. Let's once again reset our search. A wild card is a search that includes key specific terms. You can activate a wild card by using the tilde key. The tilde key is typically located around the escape key. Once you've used the tilde key, you can go ahead and include the search term you want. Let's go ahead and use target. So this will search for all cards that target. We can also add multiple terms to our single search. We can do this with the AND key. If we wanted the terms to be interchangeable, we would use the pipe, which is located near the ENTER key. Let's go ahead and use two different terms. Let's use TARGETS and SHUFFLE. Once we've started this search, it may take a little bit longer than normal. This is because wildcards use the logic you provide to search through all of the card text for the criteria you specified. If I wanted to exclude a term from my search, I would use an exclamation mark before my term. So if I wanted to find cards that did not target, I would use exclamation point target and or ampersand and shuffles. So we've now gotten our results for our search. As you can see with contact with Gusto, it is a card that targets and it shuffles meeting our requirement of our search. Lastly, I want to go over the thumbnail. The thumbnail is used to be able to find your deck easier in the deck manager. You can change the thumbnail that shows up in the deck manager by clicking thumbnail in the bottom left and then selecting the card you wish to use as a thumbnail. Once you click save, you'll then be able to have that thumbnail shown on your deck manager for your deck. If you need any more help or want to be a part of an awesome community that's helping grow Omega, please feel free to join us on Discord at discord.gg slash duelistunite. We hope to see you there.